Hey guys, this is Poet Spice, and I'm here to do a little combo haul. I bought some coloring book stuff, and then I have some stuff that came in from scrapbook.com when I was looking for something else. So I'm just gonna go through that real quickly for you. Now, first off, up here on my computer, because my book is actually downstairs. So up here, I bought this uh, Stardust by Carla Magania. And then we'll go right back on down here to these. So I bought this Steampunk Nightmares book, Coloring Adventure. And you know, it's like cool. Look at it. Steampunk. Yeah, these just kind of remind me of Vintage, but you know, this is a little Steampunk Cowboy, whatever. So I did have to get that because it looked fun. And it's not as Steampunky as I would like. But it is kind of cool. So, yeah, I will do a flip through on my coloring channel. Then, on this one, this one was Mythagoria Poison and Passion. And I liked this one. And then <laughs> I'm doing a buddy color with, ooh, Happy Catastrophe for this one. But, you know, steampunk, vampire goes for my steampunk and my costume masquerade so it has some like cool you know dark romance things going on here <laughs> look at him he's chilling the headless horseman so i'll do a flip through of that and then i have this one which is haunted hearts haunted hearts and it has some cool like little vampire ones and so forth and so look at that teddy bear i love you he's all checked up and so my hashtag pirates for poet look at him oh yes so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do a color along for this one on my channel all right so those were the coloring books that i have recently acquired and then we will go to i had my auto ship and stuff done so fabulousness so i went to scrapbook.com and i bought these three things four things and then oh, there were free gifts so this was this cute little gingerbread by creative expressions and you know i am doing my little collab but i thought this was cute so you could just like cut it multiple times and dress her up or however you want to do it so you can inlay it and it's not over I thought it was gonna be bigger but it's it's a good size though so I was like oh okay so that's cute there was a little boy and then there was like a snowman gingerbread and I was gonna get them but I, try, I tried to be good so I did <laughs> I didn't but then of course you know later on uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. then I saw these and I was just like I must have them. They're so pretty. They're from Paper Rose, and they are the Enchanted Christmas, Enchanted Christmas collection. And so I got the six by six, but and I usually don't. Y'all know me. I usually don't do matchy matchy. But you know, blue and purple are my colors, and it's Christmas, so you know, I was I was hooked as soon as I saw them. So you've got these little like cut apart thingies. And if you didn't want, oh, look at that on the back. And if you didn't want to cut them apart, you could take a small square die if you had one. Ooh, these would be really pretty if you had one of those stamp dies, if it would fit. And then look, look at the paper. Oh, how pretty. Then you've got these backs. Look at that. And I want a blue Christmas tree. It's, oh. I want a blue Christmas tree, but we haven't had a Christmas tree in a while since Mr. Big Head Cat destroyed the one we had before with his big old heavy body. He was only six months old. Now he is five years old and look at these. <laughs> and heavier. So it looks like you get two of each one. Is it two? Look how pretty that is. Two, maybe three. Three. It looks like three. Or are we going to go for four? Maybe it's four. Uh, nope. Three of each of 12 designs. So how pretty is that? And then, so they had this one, the basics. And like I said, I rarely do matchy-matchy. 
but these are so pretty in my colors and Christmas so there was just no way look at that that's so pretty there's a blue you know I do love a good gingham look how pretty that is and this one has the little trees on it oh that would be so pretty Ooh, look at that it's a gatefold card and this one Ooh. and this little gnomes on the back I love this color. So, I was trying to think of repeat. They're repeating now, yes. I don't know. I didn't see that one. Did you see that one? Yeah, I guess so. So, now that I've seen it, I might actually have to go back and buy another pack. Because it's so pretty. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Alright, so then I bought this because it was on clearance. And so it's this one from Waffle Flower. And I love this because it's like, it was on clearance. Ooh, and it was a good deal too. I don't even think it was 20 bucks. And so you get the stamp set, you get the die set, but it also has a magnetic sheet and the little envelope that you can store it in. So I'm like, yes, oh, look at her. She's so cute. And then a little bunny and there's a die for all of it. You know, I do love that. All right, so then let's talk about the free gifts. This is what I was saying in a previous video. Definitely go to the coupon section of scrapbook.com because they often have, they usually have one free gift anyway, but if you go to the coupon section, you can see what they have on that week. Now, sometimes it's good stuff. Sometimes it's like not, but this is a $20 Tim Holtz die, right? We all know I do love my little kitties. It was free. It was a free gift when you spent a certain amount. And so, yeah. All the little kitty faces and stuff. So adorable. So free gift. This was a free gift. So you got these little ghosties and there's a pair of eyes. Free gift. They had this little magnet. Well, it's what is it called? It says the Stamp Wheel Slim Grip Sticky Matte Black. Um, I don't know exactly what you use it for other than this because I don't have whatever this thing is but I figured it says it's like kind of sticky matte so you could just even probably just use it for stenciling so those were the three free gifts yeah and I only bought four items <laughs> then we have my folded club from stamps of stamps of life so here's the little card so it's the Christmas candle folded it is cute and you get two stencils so this one adds like the little details to your flame you can add some patterns to your candle they have it so that the holly is either on the candle or you don't have to which means you could use it like multiple ways you could even cut this and just cut the candle out and have multiple candles then they have the second stencil which is just some swirls it says swirls and holly leaves so this is what it looks like and it's A2. Oh my God, it's so adorable. So adorable. And then, of course, you know, you can cut it in multiple colors, and that's how you get your different layers of color. So you can do, or you can color it all, or cut it all in white and then color it. But, and then look how big the holly is. It's so cool. So I do like that. And then here's the stencil. So you can see the holly stencil. And then on the back, you can see the bits. adorable oh they even have stencils for the holly i wasn't paying attention to that so fabulous and that's my little teeny tiny goodness from scrapbook.com so check them out like i said always check the uh always check the coupon section because you usually can find mm, yummies all right thanks for watching see you guys later bye